mercenary? I wanted to ask you. Have you ever met the steward? He came to see the refugee several times, but I never spoke to him. I got the impression he couldn't stand us. He's the boss and we're the little people, see? The life of a refugee can't be easy. I've been a refugee for years. Five to be exact. All these years on the road. And believe me, it's never easy. But this village is a pretty good place. The healing house gives us food most of the time, and we're safe. That's not bad. How are things going with the guards? No, we don't see them too much around here. They're basically here to guard the village. They don't give a shit about the refugees, so they keep their distance. And I hope for the steward's sake that he's not counting too much on them to keep him safe. I've seen lots of soldiers on the road, but as useless as them, never. Right, I'm leaving. Captain tells me that you're keeping an eye on the villagers that are acting weird? Yes. Look at them. You see that couple? Take a good look at the husband. I've seen livelier zombies. It's like he was dead inside. And they aren't the only ones. There must be at least half a dozen of them. But what bothers me is that if you look closely, you can see they're checking everything out. But what's their problem? No idea. They look like they're turning into dead walkers, but the odd thing is how they're spread out. You see how they're placed? They can check out most of the village from where they are. I'm almost certain they're scouting the place out for someone. Since you seem interested, you should go and talk to them. Look, I've marked out their positions on the map. See you later. ingredients you wanted and some things to eat as well this is very generous of you i promise you this will save many lives what is the point as useless as bandaging a corpse perfect then i can begin passing all this out among the refugees here this is to thank you for your efforts thanks you've got everything you need i think thank you for your help but don't fool yourself with all of these refugees, I never have everything we need. If you ever have any extra food or ingredients, I'd be happy to buy them from you. I'll keep that in mind. I'll take my leave.
I came across this enormous creature. It's an absolute monster. You've never seen anything like it. Oh, I'd love to catch it. It would make one hell of a trophy, but I'm not sure I can take it down alone. You feel like lending me a hand? You know the captain's looking for you? Fuck the captain. Oh, come on. He can wait. The beastie out there can't. It could lose itself in the mist at any moment, and we'd never find it. Okay, then. Considering how excited you are, I'm kind of curious to see the thing. Come on, let's go. Ah, yes! I owe you one! Come on! Without your help, I'll get back to my patrol. Tell the captain not to worry about me.
person that's attacking. Wake up. Are you Heyman? Marana's assistant? Marana. Uh, you okay? Can you move? Cold. Man, you don't look so good. Come on. We'll go back to the village. Marana will take care of you. Oh, you found him. Thank you. But what have you done to him? Did you hit him? He was like this when I found him in the swamps. He followed without complaint, but never said a word. He must be in a state of shock. I'll take care of him. In any case, Haman owes you much, as I do. All of these refugees are in your debt. Please, I would like you to have this. It belonged to my husband. Hey, thanks. I'll put it to good use. Let's talk about your healing house. You've got everything you need, I think. Thank you for your help. I'll keep that in mind. How's your assistant? Alas, there's been no improvement. He's awake, but reacts to nothing. I have no idea what he could have seen to put him in such a state. I'll take my leave.
wait for you here. The Knight heard talk of a troubling event that happened during the meeting between the mercenary and the steward. Yeah. The short version is I have a demon living inside of me. A demon? The Knight has never heard of such a creature. Should he be worried? For now, it's just a voice in my head that doesn't seem to want to hurt me. But if I start spitting fire and attacking everybody, I'm counting on you to do what has to be done. Okay? The knight is honored by the trust placed in him. He will not betray it. I talked with the captain. He wants to see you. Come on, follow me. Vulcan, I do love our little chats, but shouldn't you be doing something? Captain, this is Ranval. He talks funny, but he can kick some ass. So, it's Ranval, is it? That is the knight's name. How can he prove his valor to you? All righty then. I'm glad you warned me that he talks a bit funny. Right then, laddie. All you have to do is fight a duel with me, and do your best. It will be an honor to fight with a man who they say has never been beaten. If you think you can flatter me into letting you off lightly, forget about it. Like I said, do your best. The knight hopes that he will be the first to vanquish him. He will not hold back his blows. That's more like it. Let's see what you've got, laddie. <sighs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Welcome to the Freeborn Blades, my boy. We were starting to be seriously short of fighters worthy of the name, and you fight like a man. Well, you're a ways off from beating me. Vulcan! He's your recruit. You can take care of him. Go on. Away with you. Welcome to the Freeborn Blades, friend. Don't think it's so hard. The entry fight is a humiliation we all had to go through. Me included. The captain deserves his post and his reputation. He is an exceptional warrior. The knight will be proud to serve under his orders. After such a combat, the knight will need to rest for a moment. He asks that his friend, and now sister, come to find him when she has need. Okay, see you later. Hawk will finish up his recon and head straight back. Don't worry, Captain. You've been working for me long enough to know one thing. I never worry. I'm leaving.
Do you have any idea how to wake the elf prince up? Unfortunately, I don't. I think I've tried just about every remedy I know, but nothing works. You said just about. I'm guessing that's not by chance. It's true. There is one formula I haven't tried yet. An extremely powerful solution that requires a certain ingredient to make. An ingredient I don't have. What is it? A very virulent poison secreted by the chrysalid queen. But be careful you don't mix them up with the ones you usually see. I wanted to go looking for them myself, but the villagers stopped me. They say they're really dangerous. It seems they can be found along the road we took to get here. And apparently, they only come out at night. I'll get you some. Can I have a look at... decided what you're going to do with me. I'm working on it. Meanwhile, I remain a prisoner. You're free to do what you want as long as you stay in the village or with me. But if you cross the line, I'm the one who'll straighten you out. So, one false move and I blow you up. And that can be painful. Are we clear? Yes, very clear. And perfect timing as well. It just so happens that I have absolutely no intention of disturbing this delicious village in any way. A place whose tragic end now seems ordained, and over whose corpse the red scribes and freeborn blades will scrabble in the bleeding mud. A spectacle which promises to be unique, and one I wouldn't dream of missing for the world. Well, enjoy the show. But if I ever need your help, I want to be able to count on it. Hmm, very well. You may consider that we have an arrangement. I'm going to need your talents. Come with me. You offer me what? Sword play? Suspicion and sarcasm? Huh. I wouldn't miss it for the world. What can I do for you, Vulcan? I'll take my... So where have you been hiding? Payment? 